Hi there and welcome to this origami design tutorial where we'll be talking about the image object. The image object is what you use to show single images or make uh, image galleries with. So I go up here and I choose image and you get this drop down menu where all of the images I've loaded into my project is shown. Right now I don't have any images so I'm going to go to load new and um, choose these two images. You see it'll load it in and show it at the scale the image is at. This is 2048 1536 which is um, retina display. So it's showing at a full screen size. Up here in the inspector you can see the two images I loaded in. The little eye here shows what image you're you will be showing when you open it on your iPad, which you can toggle between here. Up in the top left hand corner you have random. If you check random then you will randomly show one of these images or other images when you open the iPad. If you hit cache you will cache the image um, on the iPad but remember that you can only cache so much on um, the iPad depending on what iPad you're on. And background means that it'll bake the image into the background, meaning you cannot interact with it. But uh, the page uh, loads faster. Down here, we have a couple of uh, options for exporting. You can export unchanged, which means it'll just export the image that you've uh, loaded in. We always recommend that you prepare all your images beforehand. You save them for web so that the file size is as small as possible so you don't have to change anything inside of the origami design. But should you want to, you can export as a PNG or you can export as a J JPEG and you can set what um, quality you want to export at. <coughs> if you want to load more images into your project, you can just drag them from um, assets. Um, so I've loaded two images into my image object and I want to make a gallery. So I will go up here and add a hotspot that I lay over the screen. I'll go up here and say on tap I want image 1 to go to the next image. So now we made a hotspot that tells the image that we have here with two images inside of it that when we tap on the screen we want to go to the next image. So let's see how that looks on the iPad. When I tap it in, I get into the project and when I tap on the screen it goes between pages like that. <clears throat> I'm just going to delete this hotspot. Um, when I select the image you see up here there is something called a view group. Um, a view group you can select one. I had a view group down here, so you see this red image, the red eye pops up right next to my image. Um, you use view groups if you have multiple images on the screen that you have to toggle on or off. So, for example, if I had two images like this and um, I needed to toggle them on and off and make sure that they would uh, not show up at the same time, I'd put them in the same view group which forces one to be shown while the other is hidden. We're going to go more into that under the view group tutorial. So that's more or less it for the image object. 